While I'm waiting on dinner to finish baking tonight, I thought I'd uh, give you a quick look at one of our upcoming product prototypes. Years ago, uh, to operate a demonstration layout that Michael and I took to the St. Louis uh, Railway Prototype Modeler Meet, uh, we came up with this thing called the DCC Reverser. And really what it was was an Arduino and a motor shield and an LCD shield all stacked together to, con to control a locomotive to run between two endpoints. So basically it was like an automatic DCC throttle. It would make the locomotives go to one end, wait for a bit, turn them around, make them go to the other end, wait for a bit, reverse them again, back and forth all day long. This was to help us demonstrate out a, a signal system that we we're trying to market at the time. And uh, we put the code out there. There's a Iowa Scaled Engineering blog post article about it somewhere. Every now and then we get a customer asking for it. But it's kind of a hole uh, in the market. Tam Valley used to offer something called the train shuttle, and they stopped uh, selling that. So we thought we'd take a second look at the product and see if it actually was a sellable product. So we've done a little bit of development here, and what you see in front of you is a test track that we used to use uh, to demonstrate the protothrottle. Um, we just took two segments of it. Uh, we've got the, the prototype for the new controller here. Uh, as you can tell, it looks very much like our fast clocks. It's the same faceplate, LCD button arrangement, the whole bit. It's tied to a train spotter sensor, one of our infrared proximity sensors, on each end of the demo layout. I've got the thing paused at the moment, but if I hit run, you'll see the locomotive start moving. And then as soon as they hit the sensor here, there you go, see the red light turn on. Now they're waiting for a period of time. That's configurable. I've got it set for five seconds right now. And as soon as that's done, they turn around and head for the other end. Uh, places you could use this are obviously the thing we created it for you know, automating a demonstration layout, or maybe a store display, something along those lines. Uh, also, maybe you've got a, uh, a trolley or a traction line in the background on your layout, and you just want to make, you know, a trolley car move from one end to the other and back again. Well, this is the controller for you. Um, it'll control either DC or DCC system, or DC or DCC track and, and locomotives. So, if, uh, for example, your trolley is just straight DC, this will control it like a straight DC throttle. Or, alternately, in the case here, I've got two DCC locomotives. You just configure the address in here. You configure how fast you want them to accelerate and what maximum speed do you want. Um, let me turn this here. As you can see, uh, Tells you the address it's currently operating. Tells you it's going in reverse. 40% uh, maximum speed. And you can see it ramped down there and changed to forward as soon as it hit, it hit, the, as soon as it hit the sensor. Uh, the ramp rate is one second from stop to full speed. Obviously a little unprototypical, but you know this is a very short demo layout on my workbench. Uh, things you can configure. This will store up to... Uh, 15 different locomotive configurations plus one for DC and each one of those allows you to configure the address you want to control the maximum speed the ramp rate which is how many seconds it takes to go from stop to full speed and it also allows you for obviously DCC only because DC doesn't have functions it allows you to configure one function that's always on while operating, so for example, the engine start function on a DCC decoder, um, F8 on the ESUs, for example. Two functions that are on in forward, two functions that are on in reverse, so you can use those to control headlights, ditch lights, bells, uh, you know, whatever's appropriate for what you're doing. Uh, you can configure the endpoint delay, so like I said, I've got it set for five seconds currently. And that'll go up to 25 seconds right now. Uh, you can configure it whether it pauses on start. So when the system first starts up, you know, do the locomotives immediately start moving or do they wait for you to take it off pause? Uh, there's your DC versus DCC, such that you can set the track for the appropriate thing for your equipment. Um, there's some diagnostics and then there's a factory reset if for some reason 
you just want to clear out all the configurations and start over. So here we are at the main screen. Um, this is how you load the various configurations. So if you want to change what locomotive you're operating, you can see I've got 3001 and you know, they're both programmed as 3001 at the moment in opposite directions. But you can see I've got them in slot number two here. And you've got, like I said, 14 slots. You can configure for DCC equipment, one slot for DC equipment. Um, if you need to kind of tune how fast they're moving, there's a manual adjustment mode, so you can kind of play with the speed and such. So let's turn it down and make them only go 30% of maximum speed. As you can see, they're moving along quite a bit slower now. And then let's just say I want to... Uh, you know, reverse them in the mid run for some reason. I can just hit the forward reverse button and they'll take off the other direction. I'm going to put them back to 40% here. And then as soon as they start moving again, and then, you know, on the off chance that something happens, there's an emergency stop button that will immediately bring them to a halt. And as soon as you correct whatever the issue is or want them to operate again, you just hit it again and they start moving again. So that's a quick look at our new product. Um, should be on the market within the next few months. If you're interested right now, uh, drop us an email, leave us a comment, do something along those lines. Uh, we're looking for a couple of beta test customers. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think.